Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are reviewing Story. Story is Katie Hearn's activewear brand. I think that's how you say her name. I don't know. She is also the owner of a very popular supplement brand, Alani New. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Catherine, you said you were gonna review this stuff like two months ago when like the first launch of the year came out. Some of you may be thinking that, others of you are like, I just clicked on this video, I'm not thinking anything. But yes, yeah, so I actually did buy from the first launch this year, I think it was in September, and I literally filmed a whole review for it. Today we are reviewing a pretty new activewear brand. This is the brand Story. I um, even like got most of the way through the editing process. And then they announced their second launch of the year, which was just like a couple weeks after that. And the designs and everything were like so different that honestly I felt like my review wasn't really relevant anymore. And a lot of my like critiques of the old collection were like changed for this collection. So I felt bad with like some of the comments that I made. I was like, okay, but they already changed it. And it just felt like a little irrelevant. So I went ahead and bought from the second launch with the new updated pieces. I will include some clips throughout the video of my first review, anything that I still feel like is relevant, still feel like I wanna say. So I guess the collection I have today to review is still chapter one, but it's release two. I don't know how many chapter ones we're gonna have. I feel like, you know, it's kind of time for chapter two, but this collection I feel like had a wider range of pieces, some more unique designs. I felt like the first launch was very like Lululemon, like I don't know, nothing I really hadn't seen before. And the first launch also had a lot of front seams, which it's 2021 in my review, I was kind of like, I don't really understand why we're doing the whole front seam thing at this point. But then this launch front seam is gone. So that's a big bonus. Um, I only got like three things from this launch because everything kind of sold out within two minutes. I don't think I got any of the right sizes of mine actually because things kept selling out in my cart so fast. And I was kind of surprised because this collection is still a lot of basics. I bet they had a good amount of stock or at least I assumed they would. So I was a little bummed that I didn't get like 90% of the things that I wanted. I honestly forgot what I got at this point. So before we get into the individual items, I wanted to talk about prices because this brand definitely is up there in price point. At least I've seen a couple prices that I was like, whoa, you know, that's pretty high. My first instinct was like Lululemon prices. And I've heard a bunch of other people complain about high prices as well. But I wanted to take a step back and be like, okay, let's compare this to some other like mid price point, high price point brands and compare the prices and really see if it's higher. Cause sometimes I think we get a little sticker shock, like, oh, like that's the price for leggings without really like, you know, taking the time to be like, okay, but is it actually the same price as Lululemon? So as a true woman in STEM, I made a little spreadsheet. So here we go. The brands that I have to compare are Buff Bunny, Story, you know, the brand we're viewing, Balance, and Lululemon, just to kind of compare prices. And I pulled prices of all of their kind of recent launches for a sports bra, tank, leggings, shorts, and sweatshirt. And for the tanks, I was going for like tanks with a built-in bra, because those tend to be a little more expensive than just like you know, a throw on t-shirt. So starting out with sports bras, it does look like Story is close to Lululemon prices, if not at Lululemon prices. I'm seeing like 48 to 58 for Lulu and 48 for Story. Balance is a little bit higher, Buff Money's a little lower. For tanks, again, Story is right on par with Lululemon pricing. But for leggings, Lululemon still is more expensive. I compared the Align leggings, which are anywhere from 98 to $118. And Story was $82 for the leggings in this launch, which is actually still cheaper than Balance. Shorts, Story, is a little under Lululemon. And the thing that really gets me is this wasn't in the most recent launch, but this was their first launch, like their chapter one, launch one, I guess. Their sweatshirt was $118, which is the same price as the Lululemon like scuba zip up sweatshirt or whatever it's called, which like I think a $60 sweatshirt is a lot. Someone please explain to me why sweatshirts can be $118 when it's just like a cotton fleece. Like I do not, I do not get it. End the sweatshirt rant. But it definitely seems like they're jumping right for Lululemon pricing. And I guess in a way it's better to like start high so they don't have to raise their prices later on. But then again, Lululemon has, you know, brick and mortar stores that, you know, they have to pay like employees and everything there. So, so it's a little hard to charge Lulu prices when you're just like an online boutique. I don't know, I'm open for discussion on this. Comment down below what you think. They also don't have the established like brand reputation that Lululemon does. So there's a lot to think about. They actually offered to send me some items from this launch, but it was a really busy week for school for me. And I was like, you know, not really gonna be able to 
review this stuff and give it the time it needs. And sometimes for new brands, I do prefer to just, you know, try them myself the first time and just, you know, kind of get the whole feel for it, the whole ordering experience. I will say their shipping's pretty fast. Both of my packages came in about five days. So I feel like that was pretty good, especially with everything selling out on launch day. Okay, now that my ranting is over, we're now talking about the items. So I only got three items. I got the opposition bra, opposition tank, and the fitted six inch shorts. I got those in a size six and their material is pretty stretchy. I think last time I reviewed them, I was wearing like a two to a four, but six is really the only size I could get because all the twos and fours sold out in literally two minutes. All right, so let's start out with the shorts. I believe they have four inch and six inch inseam and they have been doing that for the past two launches. So I love that they're doing two different lengths. Personally, I can go either way, but four inch inseam, while I do like it, they tend to roll on me. So I went for a six inch and I kind of discussed their fabrics a little more in my last review um <laughs> okay are you are you kidding me okay i'm sorry but there was this one girl who specifically said that these are identical to lululemon align leggings these are nothing like align leggings these are nothing like new loop fabric i'm sorry I, I just think it's hilarious at this point because like these are barely even brushed okay i'm getting some align leggings so we can properly compare them so i got my lines here double brushed super soft and then i have the intro tight like i think you can even just tell by appearance these are not even similar in fabrics the aligns are much more more brushed and soft. I don't even feel confident in saying that these are entirely brushed at all. So I'm sorry, that just really threw me off because the amount of comparisons to Align leggings, I kind of figured that these would at least be brushed. These are not even similar. Okay, she's off her soapbox, all right? She's off. It's like one of my pet peeves of mine is when people don't know actually how to like talk about a fabric. They just say it's Lululemon Align fabric, even though this is nothing like that, so. So here are the shorts. I got them in midnight blue. They are six inches. The seams just have a very slight taper in the back. There's no like enhanced glute contour, which is totally fine. As long as it has a little angle going on, not just flat across, I'm good. It's an 81% nylon, 19% lycra blend. Their tags are kind of like little um, bookmarks, which I think was really cute and in theme. They have some seams kind of at like where your hip bones are gonna be. No front seam, which was a complaint of mine last launch when I filmed my review, but the front seam of the last time was not invasive. So it wasn't a problem. I just prefer the look of no front seam. And we have a really narrow extended crotch gusset that goes all the way down the leg. And whenever brands are charging a lot for leggings, I always like to examine the seams and see if I see anything, you know, any quality control. And the only spot I see is just a little bit of thread kind of poking out here, but that's directly across from where this is sewn in inside the short. So it's a little bit understandable, but there is still a little, um, Actually, that doesn't even look like a loose stitch. That almost looks like kind of a little pull of the fabric. This fabric is super thin, very delicate. The fabric is not brushed on the inside and it's super, super slightly brushed on the outside. So compared to Lululemon Align or like Buff Bunny Nubri, those are brushed inside and outside. So they're gonna feel a little bit softer on the skin. Not that this doesn't feel soft, but, but it's just single brush, not double. All right, so here are the shorts. These are in a size six. Um, definitely not as bad as I thought sizing wise. I think I might be a little better with a four just cause there is a little bit of extra fabric and these are like super light compression as it is. These are basically just as lightweight as a lines. So like, so definitely super light compression. They're also really thin. So in lighter colors, I can't imagine they'd be super cellulite friendly, but because of how much stretch they have, even at the seams, I'd say really thick thigh friendly, no need to size up for room in the thighs or anything. I think sizing overall, just with the nature of this fabric being so stretchy and flexible, sizing is pretty flexible. So I think if you're in between, I would probably size down, but it's kind of up to you. I don't think that these are going to slide down in the current size or anything. I generally find shorts slide down less than leggings. But yeah, I'd say these shorts are pretty good. Nice high rise, no front seam. Um, I do like kind of the thickness of the gusset here. It's really not visible from the front at all. Little seam down the side in the front, but there are no pockets. And the seams do go well above the glutes. I think if this were in a smaller size, I'd probably have a little more hugging of the glutes, maybe a little more friendly, but I would still give them a solid medium to high on the booty scale. There's something about this fabric that I kind of just like don't trust. I feel like it would be super prone to catching on things just because I already have like one of those little catch marks around the seam issue I pointed out in the back. But sometimes that's the price you pay for super lightweight naked feel leggings. So just kind of weighing some pros and cons. Uh, I do think I would size down in the future and I do like these overall. I like that they're not cutting into me or anything. I wouldn't call them like a new favorite. They also are a little bit brushed and like 
they had this when I took them out of the package, but I feel like there's, there's just some fuzz on them and stuff, which is fine, but white fuzz is pretty noticeable on dark blue. But yeah, in case you're curious about sizing, my measurements are always in the description below. I'm generally a size small in most brands. Lululemon, I tend to go for a four, sometimes a six. I don't know, I'm not really good at Lululemon, but I think my true bottom size in story would be a four. First cat appearance of the video. Mr. Pitts, what do you have to say? Okay, next I got the opposition bra in the color Blossom. I also got a size six, which I think I did get in the bras last time and that fits me well. I wanted the long line bra, um, but that one sold out immediately. So we went with just the regular one, which it's not the most exciting bra in the world, but it's something. Okay, and they're kind of doing the same thing as the last launch that I didn't absolutely love. I'll get into that in a second. Here's the bra, just very basic. There's no visible elastic in it. There is an elastic on the inside, but it's not going to be visible from the front. So a very seamless look. Maybe not a ton of space for the girls, so we'll see how it fits me. Squarish scoop neckline and scoop in the back as well. They do have removable cut pads. I think mine got a little bit creased. Here's the inside of the bra. There is an elastic at the bottom, so should still provide nice little support. I do like an elastic in my bras. There's some seam detail to separate the cups. The thing I didn't love last time is that the mesh still sits against your skin in the back. This one feels a little bit softer, but the last launch, the sports bra was pretty itchy with the mesh on the inside, so I didn't love it. I prefer it to be a softer material against my skin just because you're wearing it working out, you're moving a lot, and you're gonna get some chafing if it's a rough material. All right, here's the bra. So this is the second story bra I've tried so far, and overall their bra is just, aren't really appealing to me too much. This one's in a size six and it fits really well along this elastic band. So I think size six definitely fits my like, kind of like 32 band size really well, if that kind of helps the sizing. But for this bra at least, it kind of is more for the smaller cup sizes because I'm just getting a little bit of like side boob spillage out here. I'm feeling a little bit squished out and it's pretty scooped and I do feel like at some point at the gym, I might be adjusting a little bit. So I think this bra is cute if you're looking for for a really just simple basic for like D cup and below. But for me, not only am I squishing out of it a little bit, which, you know, some people may say, okay, just size up, but then the band is too big. And I don't like a loose band because then it provides no support. So some styles just don't work for me. Then you have the straight up and down straps. Um, a pro for these straps is that it doesn't go directly over your traps. So less likely to cut in and cause that kind of pain. The straps are also lined with the mesh, which it's just kind of an itchy mesh and I don't really I don't really like the mesh directly against my skin and a very open scooped back one negative of this kind of bra doesn't happen with every bra like this but you can see it already is kind of going a little bit down over my shoulders so this is the kind of bra that you may eventually you know lose a strap at the gym but it does feel pretty secure in terms of support I'm getting a solid light to medium feeling pretty compressed so I feel like that's you know, bound to fit pretty well. The material on the bra feels a little bit softer, a little more brushed than the leggings. I thought I would just compare to one of my two actual Lululemon bras. The inside of the bra is just lined with kind of the same fabric as the outside. So it's not like as brushed as in a line, but it's still pretty smooth, no mesh. And even all the way along the back, there's no mesh. The only mesh on a Lulu bra, and I believe this is the same with like Buff Bunny, is inside the actual cut pad hole, but that's not against your skin. So that's the opposition bra. I do love a baby pink though. This is a flattering color. I didn't see it until right now, but the cup pad is a little bit folded on this one. So something that happens sometimes. And the last item I got was the opposition tank. Mine has dirt in it. Are you, are you serious? I have a couple issues. First of all, I thought this tank had a built-in bra which is why I was comparing it to other tops of similar pricing from other brands that also had built-in bras. But the fact that this one does not have a built-in bra, yeah, this is $58 for just a plain tank with no built-in bra. So the fact that this is like the same price as the Lululemon Align tank, which has a built-in bra, which I feel like is a little more expensive to make, dinged a few points. And mine has dirt in it. So, so I turned the brightness down, but this is on the inside of the tank and it has these little like dirt marks on it, uh, which you can definitely see on white. So, I mean, I wonder if it's on any of the other ones. I just didn't notice. I kind of noticed it from the outside of the tank as well. It's not quite as visible. I was kind of seeing it through the light, 
So I will definitely need to contact customer service because if you try to return something that has like marks on it that you didn't make, you should not just return it. You need to like contact customer service, be like, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, I will put that aside for the rest of the review so we can, you know, pretend that's not there for a second. So it's just like a little kind of like flared tank shape. It should be a snug fit. I got a size six. I'm feeling like this probably won't be like skin tight on me in a size six. Same material as the legging. And again, the inside doesn't really feel brushed. The outside is very lightly brushed. And the style of the tank looks like it'll probably fit right under the opposition bra, kind of like a rounded square neckline scooped back. And other than the stains, it does seem like it has pretty good construction quality. Um, I'm not really seeing any like loose strings or anything. And lastly, here is the tank. Had to turn my brightness down a little bit so that I could get the white, you know, to show on camera. But it's this really beautiful cream color. I feel like not enough brands do a cream. They always just go for the bright, bright white, but sometimes a cream it's a nice color. The straps fit perfectly over the opposition bra. I have that on underneath. So they definitely thought about these pairing together. Um, I see the strap poking out like a little bit in the back with the bra, but the pink and the cream, I feel like are a good color combo. Very stretchy top. So if you're in between and you'd like a snug fit, I'd probably size down. I got a size six in this, which is the same as the bra. And as you can see, it's definitely snug, if not, you know, pretty tight along the bust part, but I do kind of get this little flaring out at the bottom. So I think I would be better off with a four. I'm not really concerned with it being too tight up top because this fabric is really stretchy. So I think it'd be totally fine. But if you want a looser fit, I think you could size up. I would probably need an eight to be like a true loose fit because it's still snug around here too. But yeah, it's a nice full length tank. I love to see brands that are still offering full length tanks from time to time. Because so many brands just offer, you know, crop tops and everything, but some people like a full length tank. And I actually think this is a very nice sleek look. And besides the stain on the inside, which I'm almost 100% sure that they're gonna be totally understanding and will, you know, allow me to send this back, like no questions asked, because I haven't really heard anything negative about their customer service yet, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hi, currently editing this video and I am still going to include a couple clips from my first review that I still thought were relevant and I kind of just took out the parts that didn't feel relevant anymore, so. So first we are trying out the Intro Tight in the color Sangria. These are $78 and I got a size four. They have this interesting stripe on the side of the leg, which I don't totally love. I feel like that was kind of like a older design that like Personally, I haven't really gone back to yet. Maybe it's a new thing though. I feel like it's still not quite for me. It also has a straight across waistband in the front and in the back. I guess the back is maybe ever so slightly tapered. 81% nylon, 19% lycra. It almost kind of feels like Buff Bunny spin leggings. There is a very skinny crotch gusset. And then there's a little detailing at the bottom of the leg too. I don't know the inseam for these, but they did not come in multiple inseams or anything. So just one length. And at least there's a seamless waistband at the top. These do feel really stretchy and really lightweight. So not not surprised that some people said to size down. So hopefully the size four works for me. All right, so these are the intro tights. This is a size four. I still have a ton of stretch. I mean, if you are looking for like a really stretchy yoga pant type thing, like there's no restriction going on with these. I'll give them, they have maximum stretch. Even though these are size four, kind of what they would put me as almost a size down for me, still a very light compression. So really no compression with these. There's really not gonna be any cellulite coverage as well. I'm just really not sure how I feel about the stripe down the side. Really, it's just a personal choice. So I'm not gonna knock the leggings just cause they have a stripe, but let me know in the comments down below. You feel on the stripe or you not feel on the stripe? I'm kind of getting like old like Adidas leggings. At the bottom, they have this little like cuff situation here. Definitely are not a full length for me. Even though this is a smaller size, front seam causes absolutely no issues. So while it's unfortunate they have a front seam, at least it's like one of the least invasive front seams that I've tried. High rise without me even really having to try to be high rise. Waistband is pretty short here, so questionable lower tummy control, but, but they are just kind of flat across. So we'll just do medium on the booty scale. Um, I will say these are very stretchy and you can kind of situate them to be flattering around the glutes. So maybe we'll do medium to high on the booty scale. I think even though there's no curved seams or anything, these could be pretty flattering. This material might show a little bit of sweat, but it would probably dry quickly. 
definitely a summer legging with how thin this material is. Not gonna keep you warm in the winter, but if you're like a super thin, stretchy legging kind of girl, these are one of the thinnest leggings I've tried. No seam at the top of the waistband. It's not cutting into me at all. They do feel like they're gonna stay up pretty well, even though they're not brushed on the inside. They still are attracting the every once in a while piece of pet fur, uh, just cause you know, I have Pinto in here. He provides the fur for cat fur testing. So yeah, let's try some other things. Next, I got the Legend bra in Midnight Floral. This is $48 and I got a size six in the tops cause I figured that would fit my bust a little bit better. And along with my kind of like comparison that this stuff looks very much like Lululemon. This is definitely inspired by the Lululemon Flow Y bra. Is it called Flowy or is it Flow Y? But you know what I mean, it has that signature Y shape detail in the back so again like nothing we haven't seen before the material's not brushed this one's actually like not super soft so I'm, I'm not obsessed with this material specifically this definitely has a higher neckline than the lululemon flow y bra removable cups in the middle with little seams to make sure they stay where they're supposed to be there's an elastic along the bottom and here's a close-up of the fabric and the print kind of an interesting print all right so here's the bra i'm not totally in love with it um to be honest like the lululemon flow y bra was never one that i really liked much to begin with so to have like essentially like a dupe of it. It's not really something I was like looking for. And I think that these are the only bras that they had. So something with bra straps that are gonna be this thin and pass over your traps, this is definitely going to get uncomfortable for me over time at the gym. So definitely not the most comfortable sports bra. I'm already just feeling not super comfortable in it. I think because it's lined with like this kind of like itchy mesh material, this isn't like a super soft inner lining. So it's really actually not the most comfortable. I like how it's a little more high neck than the Lululemon one. I'm not sure if they have multiple styles. Sometimes they do. And I feel like there's definitely some possibility for side boob. I really don't think I'm gonna be, you know, falling out of this or anything. Like I do feel secure but it kind of comes up and in. You could get some armpit folds, some side boob. The print is pretty cute. The band is definitely snug in a size six, so I could not size up in this. So I guess I would say true to size because I think this is kind of where they put me in the size chart. But if I'm normally a size small, a size six is kind of what I'm going for in tops, if that helps. And yeah, I'm definitely getting some, just like some irritation along the sides here. It's actually pretty tight. And this material of the sports bra is not very stretchy and not the softest either. So I also would probably size up if you're unsure or if you're in between because I probably could also do an eight as well. The port, it's actually a solid medium support I think because of all the coverage it's giving me a little more but I am already starting to feel the straps kind of cut into my neck a little bit. And yeah I hate to say it but for like the solid colors of this there are so many Lululemon Flow Y dupes on Amazon like I'm pretty sure CRZ Yoga has some and on AliExpress. I don't really see the point in paying like $50 for this one especially when I'm not loving the print not loving the fabric. Okay, why I decided to get both of the tops in this midnight floral print instead of any sort of solid, I don't know. I literally shopped for this collection like while I was at the gym though. It launched on a Saturday morning and that is my gym time and I was not gonna compromise that for launch. So we got the Legend Cropped Shelf Tank. Also a size six, this is $58. And there's like a little seam detailing across the front too. And it truly is a crop tank, so I appreciate them doing this. It does have a full shelf lining with an elastic, so there should actually be some support. And there's also cut pads. And I do wanna also mention, because this is a print, it's lined with white. So when you stretch out the midnight floral print, you're gonna get a good amount of white. So I know my people who don't like white lined prints, so. Okay, here's the crop. Feels the same as the bra. Not super comfy, I'm not loving the fabric. The inside is a built-in bra. And in the case of a lot of these built-in bras, let me show you an example, I was just wearing one. Okay, in a lot of these built-in bras, there is a mesh on the outside of the cup pad. The mesh is actually not against your skin. The mesh is against the other fabric. So you don't even feel the mesh, which is good because mesh isn't like the softest fabric. This is just like a $20 top from Nepo Gym. It's on Amazon or AliExpress, but on the inside, it's a soft material. So the material against your skin is nice and soft. And while the material on this side is soft, a lot of the mesh does touch your body 
all the way around the back and you can see where it kind of irritated my skin right there. Does not happen with any of my little Amazon tops. So these are actually very comfortable and soft on my skin while I'm getting a lot of itching on these because the mesh is against my skin. Listen, I don't even have the most sensitive skin. This would irritate me over time. There's also this little detail in here. I do think I like this a little better than the bra because I don't know, the elastic on the other one was just a little less comfortable. I kind of like what's going on here with just a little fabric. But again, these straps are going to kind of cut in. So with something like this, true to size, size up if in between. Medium support still, good amount of coverage. There is gonna be potential for some side boob. And then the back is just that kind of like Y shape back. Kind of goes below your whole scapula back here. It's like a long line bra tank situation. So whenever I see little long line bra tanks like this, I just have to kind of compare it to the Amazon ones. And usually the Amazon ones are really good. Like whether it be Story or even Alphaly just came out with recent ones, the Amazon ones are pretty comparable. And we are at the end of the stack. And next we have the results cropped muscle tank in the color fog. This is a size four, just a little like drop shoulder tank with a little tie detail in the back. It's just made of this lightweight material with a little line detailing. It's on a solid gray, almost kind of like a marl. All right, so here's the tank. I like how it hits just to the top of the legging waistband. So it's not too long. It does have a little scoop around the sides here. So you might see some bra. It just kind of feels like a cotton fabric to me. It's a little bit sheer. So you you can see the bra under this. And then it has mostly a back that's together with a little tie detail at the back. And I knew as soon as I saw this top, it reminded me of a couple other tops that I already have from AliExpress. This one isn't exactly like it. I do have a top that almost is exactly like it, but I don't know where it is, but I'll insert a photo on the screen of the one I'm talking about. But this is the Nepoa Gym Lake top, a top that I love. And this one's definitely a little bit longer, but it has that high neck slightly dropped sleeves and it does have that like open back with the ability to tie it. So I feel like that's like kind of like a similar one. This is a size four and it's definitely kind of hugging on the bust area. So I probably could have done a six, but it's definitely a relaxed fit in whatever size you choose. So if you're in between sizes, I'd probably choose the smaller one. Buddy, yeah, you've got to come say hi to everyone. They got to say hi to you. Little Pinto here brought me his spring so he can play fetch because that's what he likes to do all day. So yeah, if you're in between, you could probably choose the smaller size if you want to fit a little more like this, slightly relaxed, but you could choose the bigger size if you wanted a little more flowiness. I probably could do a little more flowiness. And also depending how you tie this in the back, you could probably get it to be a little tighter on the bottom as well. Okay guys, that's it for my review. I hope this was helpful. I'd say overall, nice pieces. I didn't really have too many complaints. They are launching a lot of basics right now. So I'm excited to see what else they come out with because nothing's truly like standing out to me too much at this point. And they are pretty pricey. But if you're in the Lululemon price point range and you've been wanting to try them out, can't say I would tell you not to. But yeah, if you've tried this brand, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.